Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the best venison roast north, south, east, and west of the Pecos. But first, before we get started, go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button below and we'll start cooking. So today's recipe calls for obviously a venison roast. We also have six red potatoes, a bowl full of baby carrots, a mixture of spices that I've come up with, a whole yellow onion that we'll dice up, and a couple cloves of garlic. First thing we need to do though, we need to get the rest of the fat off of that venison roast. So we're going to go ahead and start by cleaning up this roast. We're going to get the rest of the silver off of there. Any fat that may still be on there. over. You see this? Pieces like this here. We're going to let the tip of the knife do the work for us. Right there and just lay it out. That's looking a lot better. With our roast cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and take our rub that we've mixed up. And we're going to put it on it liberally. And we're going to rub it in. Flip sides, do it again. Rub it in. Now we're going to take it and we're going to toss this into a hot cast iron skillet, brown it up, and we're going to put it in our crock pot. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our olive oil, we're going to add it to our cast iron skillet that we've already preheated. We're going to let the oil get hot. Now we're going to take our seasoned roast, drop it right in there. Here's a sizzle. We're going to brown that up on both sides and then we're going to move it over to our crock pot and start cooking it there. It'll take probably about three to four minutes per side. It's been going about three minutes, we're going to take a look at it. Yep, that looks great. And that's what it should look like after you've flipped it over. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move this now from here and move it into the crock pot. We've got our thermometer. We're going to stick this in Get right about in the middle. Cover it. Turn it to high. We're going to set our, thermo, our temperature to 145 degrees. That will give us a nice medium rare venison roast. 
And while that's starting to cook, we're going to go ahead and cut up our vegetables. And we'll chunk them in as soon as we get them done. Okay, now with our vegetables all cut up, cut them in nice big chunks, we're going to go ahead and add them in uh, at this point. And one of the things that we're going to do is actually lift up the roast. We want to get some of the veggies underneath the roast as well. cover it back up. Just wait for the timer to go off on the thermostat, on the thermometer. Also, one more thing that we add. Good flavor. And add some Worcestershire sauce. And now to try it ourselves before we have everybody else come out. Oh. Excellent. Try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. Make sure to click on the like and the subscribe button below. 
And if you want to get more recipes as we're going along, click on the bell icon and you'll get an email every time I upload a new recipe. So for right now, then I'm Hodge the Hungry Hunter, urging you keep cooking. So presentation of the food is just as important as the food itself. So take those veggies, those potatoes and those carrots and those onions and line them around the roast that we just finished cooking up. And then take that and serve that to the people that will be eating. I'm Hodge the Hungry Hunter urging you keep cooking and we'll see you next time.